Close your eyes and imagine the flavor of a refreshing breeze, the flavor of the cooling waters of the sea, the flavor of the warm sun. It's the magic of handshake. Just as different paints are mixed together to create a completely different color, Handshake is creating new flavors by mixing different tastes and ingredients from nature. Handshake involves taking nature's tastes and making them more flavorful. From now on, you will embark on a journey to a new world of flavor in search of that unique flavor found only in Korean food. A taste that's central and fundamental to Korean food. A sixth flavor hidden in Korean cuisine. Let's start from the very beginning. How is Korean food made? The 한국 음식을 만드는 데 있어서는 된장, 고추장, 간장이 필수적으로 뭐한 가지를 하더라도 골고루 들어가야 되지 않겠어요? 장맛이 빠지면 절대 우리 한국의 음식 정말 전통적인 그런 맛은 절대 낼 수가 없는 거죠. Jang is a blanket term for the soybean-based traditional sauces of Korea. What roles do these various sauces play in creating the distinctive flavors of Korean dishes? This is Joe a guide for your culinary travel who is here to give you a hint. And it's because of this we have these special properties of jang, Korean traditional sauces. Now we know all the basic flavors we have. We have uh, salty, sweet, sour, bitter, and then there's that fifth taste which you can kind of describe as savory, but there's a hidden sixth taste that we don't know about. Each country has signature sauces that give recognizable characters to its food. Sometimes creamy, sometimes tart, and sometimes spicy. The sauces are used in a variety of dishes, from appetizers to entrees and desserts. The sauces help to season the food, make it more flavorsome, or bring out the flavors of certain ingredients to whet the appetite. But isn't it amazing? Korea's jang has a sixth taste that cannot be found in any other sauces. What is this mystery taste? First, let's trace the origin of jang. Korea's jang, made from fermented soybeans, gave rise to a culinary tradition vastly different from the one that originated from the meat-based sauces of China. Miju, a block of mashed soybeans, was fermented by mold to produce soy sauce or soybean paste. Chili pepper powder, introduced to Korea some 400 years ago, sparked a revolution in the world of spice. Gochujang was created by adding spicy chili powder to soybean-based miju. The latest member of the Jang family enriched Korean cuisine with the flavors of different Jang. Now let's turn the clock back 
and see what took place in this urn of gochujang to feature that unique sixth taste. White gold, salt, one of the essential ingredients for jang, provides the first clue. In fact, the word sauce originated from salsas, the Latin term for salted water. So you see, salt is the most fundamental element giving flavor to food. Mankind had taken in sodium through the consumption of raw meat, but ever since mankind started consuming grains and cooked food, humans needed a separate source of salt. Preserving food with sea salt or in brine, which later led to pickling, was among the earliest food preservation methods. This development greatly advanced the history of food processing for mankind. Chengjang,黑色的黑色的黑色的黑色的黑色的黑色的黑色的黑色的黑色的黑色的黑色的黑色的黑色的黑色的黑色的黑色的黑色的黑色的黑色的黑色的黑色的黑色的黑色的黑
yes, I can taste the hidden taste a bit, but it's a little too salty. It's, there's not enough there. It needs a little more complexity. So the six hidden taste does not only need salt. There's needs something else there. Soybeans are an ingredient critical to bringing out that sixth taste of jam. Since the old days, soybeans have been called miracle grains in the East. For Asians whose diet traditionally included very little meat, soybeans played a vital part as a plant-based protein in place of animal proteins. Since soybean proteins break down to produce a substance that has meat-like savory taste, soybeans have served as a wonderful seasoning for Asians, whose diet has consisted largely of grains. The discovery of a plant ingredient that was savory like meat sparked a culinary revolution. Moreover, Korea's soybean-based jang is known to be five times higher in protein than meat. Koreans also know how to make the most out of the nutrients in soybeans. The secret lies in miju, the basic building block for jang. It takes multiple human touches to make miju. Soybeans are cooked until they become five times larger in size. Then the beans are mashed until there are no more lumps and shaped into square blocks. The meiju blocks are strung up with straw ropes to dry in an evenly heated room through the winter. Mold and germs multiply on the surface and the meiju blocks turn an earthy brown color. The germs that grow inside and outside the meiju blocks help break down the substances in soybeans to produce more savory and meat-like tastes. Soy sauce is made by soaking these meiju blocks in salted water. Chili peppers and charcoal keep the solution from spoiling. About 60 days later, meiju blocks are taken out of the salted water and soy sauce is drained out to make duenjang, the thick soybean paste. Hey Joe, did you find what you were looking for in the soybeans? Hmm. Sort of a savory, meaty flavor, but it's not quite that six hidden taste. I think we need a little more research. Gochujang is the most complicated sauce to make among the Jung trio. It needs chili peppers, the red jewel. Capsaicin in the chili pepper was the answer to mankind's millennia-old wish to keep vegetables fresh for a long time. Capsaicin helps prevent oil from going rancid and cultivating lactic acid bacteria. These properties are key to making kimchi and gochujang in Korea which is why chili peppers are the most important ingredient to Korean cuisine. Korean Whoa! 
as hot. Whoa, you gotta be careful with this. Now Koreans have a saying that a hot sauna is cool and a hot pepper is sweet. And wow, this is loaded with capsaicin, which you know is supposed to kind of numb your mouth a bit. Not working on me. Hmm, that must not have been spicy enough for Joe. Let's turn the heat up all the way. Ripened red by the sun, each and every one of these chili peppers looks beautiful. But it is up to the creators of these works of art to pick the best of the best. 청약은 고추 자체가 청정하게 재배되기 때문에 뭐 굳이 세척 과정을 안할 때 상관이 없는데 그래도 그 우수한 농산물만이 고추만 선별해서 시장 주장. Nature's masterpieces are displayed for the world to see under the bright sunlight. The people are also the same, but the trees are looking at the flowers. The people are looking at the flowers, and the flowers are always looking at the flowers. The flowers are looking at the flowers, and the flowers are looking at the flowers. The flowers are looking at the flowers, so the flowers are looking at the flowers. One important step is left before the chili peppers are transformed into a perfect contributor to gochujang. The stalk ends of dried chili peppers are picked off and the peppers are split to take out the seeds before they are ground. The coarseness of chili powder is determined by where you're going to use it. For gochujang, you need very finely ground chili pepper. Now the chili pepper powder is ready for the gochujang. The last ingredient that goes into gochujang is grain syrup that lends sweetness. The sweet flavor comes from the cereal grains called malt or germinated barley rice. Grain syrup is made by simmering the liquid steeped in malt and water strained from fermented cooked rice. If you let your eyes wander even for a minute, the syrup would stick to the bottom. Thanks to the tireless work of the gochujang master, who continuously stirs the mixture in the sweltering heat, we now have a pot of sweet golden grain syrup. Let's get all the ingredients together for gochujang. All these ingredients will be combined to make gochujang. In the old days, this jang making task was considered so important that Koreans made jang only on the most auspicious day in January. Different ingredients have come together to create a new flavor. Jang is perfected by the magical skills of Korean women who know how to balance the flavors of the universe. <laughs> 